And it was Andrew who would be given the ball for a game that some Yankee fans were calling imperative, dog. Imperative. Bottom one, Kurt Schilling pitching for the Red Sox. Yankees already up 1-0. Hideki also not in the top 10. Homers, fourth this year. Came in 7 for 21 lifetime again. Schilling, the Yankee cranky, makes it 3-0. Derek Jeter, his 13th season. Joe DiMaggio played 15 seasons for the Yankees. And now it's Jeter with more hits. They're, look at their stats. They're very similar outside of the power and home runs. Right down the seasons played, games played, and now hits. Jorge Posada continues his amazing season. He singles to right, bottom third. Here comes Alex Rodriguez. Yankees up 5 nothing. Bottom four, Doug Minkiewicz in the house. Doug Minkiewicz out of the house. Yankees had seven lefties in their lineup, counting switch hitters to go against Schilling. They're up 6 nothing. Schilling gave up 12 hits in six innings. Andrew Pettit induced two double plays. There's one. The soft lining catch off Julio Lugo. Top of seven, Dustin Pedroia. To Alex Rodriguez. Yankees go on to win eight to three. They're nine and a half back with 117 to play. John Crux, factor of fiction, AL East, a one team race. On first, Jose Reyes on second. Willie Randolph, an aggressive manager. We're going to try a double steal. Jared Saltalamacchia, the Braves catcher. He'll throw to second. Reyes is too fast. However, the ball gets away. Here comes Reyes. He will score. And then Green goes to third on the air. Martin Prado with the air. That's up 1-0. Andrew Jones, what a tough year it's been for him. Oliver Perez, it's been a good year. Jones, Saltalamacchia, and Woodward all go down. Oliver Perez, seven innings, four hits, five Ks. He's been unbelievable. David Wright, no home runs and over 100 plate appearances in April. Eight home runs in May. Mets up 3-0. Now the bullpen. Joe Smith, if you haven't heard of him, he's been a very effective middleman for the Mets. 1-2-3-8 to get Schiffer there. Billy Wagner, career save 335, ninth all time, six behind Raleigh Finger. John Crook, factor fiction, and out east a two-team race between these two teams. 2004 and Bartolo shelled much of last season. Bottom second, two outs, Bosco Polanco, Looper, Brandon Inge, Curtis Granderson scoring the Tigers are up 4 nothing. Bottom third, nobody on, nobody out, Carlos Ian. That ball is traveling and it's traveling and it's traveling. It's his fourth home run of the season. Tigers have five nothing clone. Ten hits, six runs, two Ks. Uh, that's going to be an L. Megler Ordonez off Hector Carrasco. Ordonez, second homer of the game. Twelfth of the season. Tigers up 7 3. Now you got to hold on, though, in the ninth. Two on, nobody out. Vlad Guerrero swinging hard enough to make two outs. <laughs> six, four, three, double play. And it is the Tigers holding on to win it by a count of 8-7. Amazing highlight here. Marlins Phillies come in with identical 22 and 23 records. Brett Myers, okay, bottom nine. Non-save situation. This should be this should be an easy one. 7-3, Phillies lead. Linden, face it. A Mezaga, a blooper. Oh, somehow that falls in. But still, it's a four-run game. Dan Ugla, okay, now we're getting nervous. Dumps it into the corner. Marlins feel a rally coming. Ugla with a triple. It's seven to five. Next batter, weird play here. Hanley Ramirez decides to bunt. That run at third doesn't mean much. Get the out. It's a one-run game. However, Greg Dobbs throws home and doesn't get anybody. Afterwards, Dobbs said, I still can't grasp what I did. It might be the stupidest play in the history of baseball. Stupid Dobbs. Oh, mental error. Bottom nine still now, seven to six, two outs, one, two pitch, Aaron Boone. Hanley Ramirez is going to be out by a mile. And the Phillies are going to win. No! Safe! Safe! Check it out. Rod Barajas. Game ending tag situations, normally good. But Tim Timmons is there. Charlie Manuel comes out. He said afterwards, things started to go haywire. I'm thinking the game is kind of slipping away from us. Thanks, Tips. It's 7-7, and look at Brett Myers to make matters worse. After throwing that pitch, he grabs his shoulder for now. They're saying strained shoulder, MRI on Thursday. That could be devastating to the Phillies. Okay, Clay Condry, come in. But first things first, save your own life. Oh, man. Holy shnikes. Check it out. This ball is going to go into his chest. Glove save and a beauty. He saves the game and saves his life. Top of the 10th, still 7-7. Abraham Nunez is clutch and clutches everything. What a game. Phillies winner, winner, chicken dinner.
Brewers Dodgers with the first two. Cruz Young and Russell's appearance now four weeks away, June 20th. Russell Martin, two homers on Tuesday, and with the bases loaded, Martin hits it deep to the gap, and you can start the merry-go-round. Not a four-run homer, but it is a three-run base knock. The call, Pierre can all score. Play throw home is high. Martin sliding into third. Dodgers lead 3 0. Martin continues to stay warm. Bottom five, Martin facing Carlos Villanueva. Hits one deep to left field. It is slicing foul. And, and no, it's a home run. Martin rounding the bases. Villanueva's convinced it's foul. Uh, no, wait. It is foul. We look at it again. That's no problem. Should not count, right? Umpires talking over Sam Holmer. He, you know, he's a quality member of the Blue Man Group. No, foul ball. Let's do it again. So the next pitch, Villanueva. Whoa. Hit, hit that, Sparky. <laughs> Whoa, up over the old dome. Martin staring out at the mound. We have a stare down. Then he gets walked. Okay. Now we have more staring. Staring. Martin gets to first base. The Dodger first base with Marion. Dunk starts. He starts jawing with the Brewers there. And Prince Fielder says, hey, don't talk to my boys like that. And now we got something started. Calm down. Calm Prince down. is young, but he'll, he'll be out there. And finally, here we come. As soon as you point the fingers, you yeah. that's when the bench. Umbridge has been taken off. They go. Look at the relievers. Do we got to run all the way out? Well, at least it counts as our running work for the day, right? No punches thrown. No one is ejected. Bottom seven. Martin again. Runners at the corner. And he whacks it. Martin the left. That one could be gone if it's fair. Jeff Jenkins, though, makes the catch. Womp here will tag and score. We'll take another look at this because Jenkins had to, had to do some work. Seventh inning, a lot of fans still there at Dodger Stadium. Amazingly, and after he catches it, he says something to the fan. No cheese for you, buddy. None. No cheese. No sausage. Dodgers won 5 months. Take things past fair. That's just me. Indians, Royals. Grady Sizemore and the Tribe have lost three straight against the Royals, but that's how you lead off a ball game. Sizemore. Is it moist? It is a home run. Casey Blake would homer in the next at bat. So Cliff Lee goes out 7-3 in his career against the Royals. Stake to a 2-0 lead. Neil Brown grounds to first. Ryan Garko. Oh, oh Uncle Cliffy didn't get over. Here, here comes trouble. Ouch. Look out for that. Oh, that, that's not good. Royals can trail 3-1 when Martinez scores. Bottom two. John Buck. Oh, that's a good way to do it in the home half. His eighth. We're tied at three. Later in the second, Royals lead 5-3-1 on Mike Sweeney. He's home ring to left as well. His 6-7, three Royals. They win at 11-7, four in a row over Cleveland. They own these guys. Twins Rangers afternoon baseball for the temperature gets to be 2,000 degrees there in Texas. Ron Washington sitting Sammy Sosa in this one. In the third, Justin Morneau off Robinson Tata. Get out, 14th home of the year, fifth on the nine-game roadie. But in the ninth, Twins lead 5-3. Joe Nathan into close. Victor Diaz, broken bat. Ow, off the pitcher. Can't feel good, gets the out. Look at it again, Nathan. That, that's smacked with the lumber. I don't show spend much time in your lumber yards. Not sure where they are. Yeah, there you go. Nathan Little Jog stays in. Nelson Cruz, Tory Hunter. Last time he dropped one of those. That's unbelievable. I, I can't believe I saw that, but it is on tape. Sammy in the pinch hit. Nathan gets it. Twins hold on to win 5 3 to Hayden. Now 1 and 6 in his career in Arlington, which is a bummer because the Rangers can play most of their home games. In. All right, the Cubs are slipping. They've lost that 8 of 12 overall. Sean Marshall cut up from AAA for his season debut. Let's fix this thing. Bottom seven. Padres down 1 0. Kevin Kuzman off with one on. And boy, this guy has strong forearms. Look at that one. 438 feet. And just like that, the pause leads 2 to 1. Ninth inning. You know what that means? It means Trevor Hoffman. Cubs down 2 1. Mark DeRosa deep to right. Jose Cruz Jr. Oh, that wall got in the way. DeRose is going to end up at third. He was four for four. He's the tying run in the top of the ninth with two outs in a one-run game. Next batter, Jacques Jones. Off. The changeup goes to right this time. No wall. Jose Cruz Jr. and the Padres win two to one. Leaves the major with eight losses. He loses this game against the Pirates, who would fall to one and nine in ten starts. Just the six pitchers since 1900 to lose nine of his first ten starts before the end of May. So his teammates trying to help him out. Juan and Carnacion deep to left, and oh, what a play by Chris Duffy! This is especially painful to Cardinal fans because they're last in the majors in home runs. Only hit 24 this year. So Chris Duncan says you're not going to catch that one. Hit 22 last year. That's his ninth this year. Cardinals have a lead for Kip Wells, 4 0. He pitched well. So now Jason Isrenhausen's trying to save the game for Kip Wells. 
Cardinals up four to three. Beautiful pitch to Ryan Beltman. And then Xavier Nady goes down. Career save 260. Hey, John Cruck, factor fiction. The Cardinals will miss the playoffs. Top plays, Jordan Sparks not appearing. Number 10, Fred, Twins, Rangers. Michael Young blasting away, right center field. Torrey Hunter going back, going back. He leaps and he makes the catch. Makes catch there, good. Twins win 5-3, add that little hiccup. Yeah. Not mentioning. Also clotted with a whole two wagon. <laughs> duly impressive. Number nine, Nomar garcia Parra, still the best hair of head in baseball. To left, Rafael for call, tries to score, Jeff Jenkins. Beautiful throw. However, Dodgers won 5-1. to one. Number eight, Athletics, White Sox. Bobby Crosby, Bobby Bunt up. John Garland, look at what a fantastic play. Do you prefer Garland or Bunt? Yeah, you never know. It just depends. It's runs to taste, I guess. White Sox are lost for now. Number seven, Nomar also has a great head of yeah, it's not only a great hair hair head. head. <laughs> One and Cardinacion thinks he has a home run. Chris Duffy says you'll get nothing and like it. Oh, the Cardinals last in the league in home runs. Got a guy going up in the shrubbery to take one away, but the Cardinals did win five to three. Kip Wells, way to go. Number six, you have a Champions League final. Liverpool, this is their goal. Oh, double header. Yeah, I love the we love the double Strike. header. Oh, they triple not, header. They did not charge a separate admission, which <laughs> was nice. We'll have more from this coming up shortly. Triple header. All right, Cinco. Lyle Overbay to right, Nick Markakis. Oh, beautiful catch. Sold it late with a lovely slide. What a nice, very nice, concentrating, making sure. Safe player. Number four, conference tournament, Mountain West. Mexico pitcher, Bobby LaFranboise. How's this for your complete game, huh? San Diego State's Joe Spires grounds at the middle. Scott Gracie bails his man out. Complete game and the shutout. Wow. Mexico advanced to play second seed BYU. Number three, back to Baltimore. Runs are earned. That one up the middle. It is stopped by Roberts. Tries to get the out. And back oh. play. Ryan Roberts and a pick at first base by Huff. Number two, more Liverpool, AC Milan. Now, I had Filippo Inzaghi in the uh, in the fantasy draft. I took him early. He scored twice, including this one, which just enough. Just, oh, it gets over. AC Milan wins 2-1. Their seventh UEFA Champions League title. It's the second most of all time. Number one top play from Tampa Bay, and it's defense. Chodesky Betancourt, oh, my goodness, like Superman, robbing B.J. Upton. Mariners win 5-1. And 100 Roughly, were safe. but don't hold me to that. Bottom of the second, Braves head one zip. Matt Diaz drives Glavin's pitch deep to right field, and uh, the people could get that one, not the outfielder. Braves take a two zip lead. Diaz is fourth of the year. Top third, Smoltz, bases loaded jam with two outs. David Wright, uh, check swing. Larry Young at first is you're out. Half swing, whole strike. Wright not happy about that. 0 for 4, three Ks in the game, 1 for 13 in the series. And you, know, you can look at it as many times as you want. If Blue says you're out, Blue says you're out. Right, and you throw your helmet, you're still out. Mets continue to trail 2 0. In the sixth, Smoltz gets some defensive help. Edgar Renteria, good pick, dazzling throw, and Carlos Beltran is kept off the bases. To the seventh, still 2 0. Jose Reyes. Smoltz gets into ground to second. There's a little force out there, and so runners in the corner, nothing going. Smoltz, seven innings, no runs, seven hits. Glavin went six, gave up two. In the ninth, 2 1 game, Bobby Wickman, Abrams, Wisconsin, in to try and save this baby, Jose Reyes. Popped up. Way up. Who wants it? Smoltz does. Give him the baseball. That's his 200th career win. Tip of the hat for Smoltz as the Braves win it 2-1. to one. Him as well there. <laughs> Jeremy Bonham in. Fresh off the DL to start Thursday. Top of the first already in some trouble. But Bonham in helps his own cause there. Gets Gary Matthews grounded the old 1-2-3 double play, which you can never assume out of the inning unscathed. Bottom of the first, Tigers already had a one nothing lead. Carlos Guillen, his fifth home run of the season. He would have himself a ball game. Top of the third, Bonnerman's at it again. I mean, in trouble again. Runners the corners and two down. Gets Matthews. Not a double play. Didn't need it. Needed a strikeout. Got it. Six Ks and eight shutout innings. How about Maglio Ordonez? Rips that two-run double. He passes A-Rod for the Major League Baseball lead and RBI. He's tearing up the halos. 13 for 19. Four homers, 12 ribs against the Angels this season. Bottom of the sixth, one on four. Guillen told you he had a game. How about his fifth career multi-home run game? Tigers win 12-0. They scored 20 runs in the last two games. They lead all of baseball in runs scored.
Padres have handled the Cubbies six straight times at Petco Park. It looked like Chris Young was going to do it again in the first with no score. Alfonso Soriano swinging. In the third, Jock Jones goes down. Top six were tied at one. Nobody out. Soriano this time gets some wood on it. Belt a triple to right center. It's in the gap. You just keep running when it's in the gap. That's what you do. Stop at third. It's a triple. Nobody out. All right. Easy. All you got to do is score him, right? But Young, he's tall. No word yet on him. Young is restless. DeRosa goes down. Derek Lee victimized. Strikeout number nine, Aramis Ramirez. Well, that'll get you out of a jam, huh? Young, 10K. Sees nice. Seven innings pitch. Three hits, one run. Top nine, no outs, no Young. Clay Meredith pitching. Cliff Floyd hits a grounder to Marcus Giles. Tries to come home. Derek Lee is in there. The Cubs score two on ground outs in the ninth and win it by a count of three to one. All right, the Phillies and Marlins buckle up the old chin strap. You have a feeling these two teams just don't get along. Top of the first, Dontrell Willis strikes out Abraham Nunez. Jimmy Rollins was running, safe to second, but Nunez on the ground and injured. Watch it again. Nunez leans in after the swing and is hit by Miguel Olivo on the follow-through. Marlins want the interference call, don't get it. Nunez would leave a mild concussion. John Lieber... Hits Aaron Boone. Emotions perhaps starting to boil. Dontrell Willis at the plate. Lieber's pitch goes behind him. Willis wouldn't forget. The top of the third. Pat Burrell the ground of third. Nice play Miguel Cabrera. Throw to Aaron Boone on time. But Chuck Merriweather rules. Burrell safe. Signaling his foot left the bag. What? The Marlins think the inning's over. Freddie Gonzalez incensed and tossed. Not sure if he's one of mine or not. Back to the Willis drama, <laughs> throws behind Lieber. You've got to keep track. The home plate umpire Rick Reed warns everybody in sight. Lieber would later walk. Next batter, Rollins grounds to short. That ends the inning, but not the drama. Now watch as Dontrell heads off, has words for the Phillies' dugout. And the dugout, the bullpens, everybody would gather around home plate. Lots of pushing and shoving. Dontrell would be restrained. Miguel Cabrera. Shane Victorino sort of put himself in a bad spot up against Cabrera. Wes Helms had some words for the Marlins. There's a little mismatch there in terms of size. There would be no ejections, however. Incredible that after all this, nobody was tossed. Needed a lot of players because this one would go to extra innings. And I don't just mean the 10th. This game would go on to the 11th inning. And in the bottom of the 11th, the runner on, here's Cabrera in the middle of it all, right? Mammoth shot. The ballpark will hold it. Walk off RBI double. And the Marlins, a 5-4 winner. Baseball, Mariners double raise. Urban Meyer heard it was Ichiro's 1,000th game in the big leagues, so he showed up. Top four, Mariners trailing 10-4. Jose Lopez off Jay So That is in the park, but off the wall. Lopez, he's just, it's, now it's a NASCAR race. He just keeps turning left until he gets home. The problem is the ball gets home before he does. You're out. What is it about leaving a message in the beep and the whole thing? Oh, he's yeah, out. Top remember. seven. Mariners now trailing 12-7. Lopez would redeem himself. Three run shot. He had four knocks in this game. Seattle cuts the deficit to 12-10. Later in the seventh, Sean Kemp strikes out Jose Gui, and that ends some damage temporarily. Bottom eight, still 12-10. Ty Wigington with a solo home run to left off Eric O'Flattery. Oh, my goodness. Truly unfortunate. Tampa goes up 13-10. Al Reyes comes in to close it out for the Devil Rays. Ichiro, that's not closing it out. That's a home run. You know, Ichiro, never less than 206 hits in a season. More on him in a bit as it's 13-12. Finally, Guillen goes down to end the game. 30 hits, 13 walks, 13-12 is your final. Number 10, Fred. Round one senior PJ championship. Big major, Craig Stadler. Look at that short game, huh? Soft. Eagle boy name. Stadler would shoot a 72. Eduardo Romero leads. At number nine, the Phillies Marlins. This is in the 11th inning. Pat Burrow lined to the third. Miguel Cabrera makes the nice stab. And the ball was fouled, but Cabrera goes to the backhand to make the play. More from Cabrera later. Number eight, Mission Hills Country Club. Jacqueline Gagne there on the par three eighth. That's her 14th hole-in-one in four months. I'm not sure I believe that. She's hot. Number seven, 
Tayshawn Prince to Jason Maxiel for the alley oop. Just too strong for Sasha. More from Detroit coming up. Number six, Clay Court, Austria. Look at oh, look at Andy Roddick. Which Very one, which special one's stuff, but he lost to uh, Gail Monfils. Is the guy in the circle there? Yep. Chicago Fire, New York Red Bulls. Dane Richards' cross is deflected, but Juan Pablo on hell controls the ball and beats the keeper. Red Bulls win 3 0. Number four, back at the Palace, Auburn Hills. Christopher Rumeo wins 50 grand for hitting a half court shot, a three pointer, a free throw, and a layup. Might have been the best shooter on the court all game. Yeah, where was he in the final second? Yeah. Number three, here's LeBron. Oh, it looked awful good in the first quarter with six and a half minutes left. A pretty play. LeBron had 19.7 assists, six boards. They lost. Number two, we're in Florida. We're in the bottom of the 11th, tied at 4 1 on between the Phillies and the Marlins. Miguel Cabrera drive to left center. It, it doesn't get out, but Hanley Ramirez will score. Marlins win 5 4. Billy! And at number one, back to Auburn Hills, under 30 seconds left. Pistons were down one. That is a tough shot by Rashid Wallace. He does a lot of things for you, including that. Sticks it in LeBron's face. The Pistons win.